Hey guys, I'm going to have to pre pro tips. That's PowerPoint pro tips. So today I'm here to teach you how to add paint brush effects for images or textures in PowerPoint. So first I'm uh, going to my browser and then I can search for dafont.com. I'll search for the font road rage and I'll download it. And after clicking on download, I can install it. And if you don't know how to install a font in your PC or device, uh, you can see uh, the video how to use Google Fonts in PowerPoint. So currently, I'm not using Google Fonts, but I'm using Da Font. When I open a new uh, new slide, I can add text here. So I'll type the letter I. I'll increase its size. After increasing its font size, you can give the font row rates to it. Now you can see the letter I transforms into uh, like a paint uh, brush. So like. This uh, letter I has a paint brush effect in this road rich font. I can add a rectangle on it. I'll send it to back. So I'm uh, adding this rectangle to convert the text into a shape. So I'll select merge shapes. I'll intersect it. Yeah. I, so now this is not a uh, text anymore. It's a shape. I'll remove its outline. I'll duplicate it uh, multiple times. Like, uh, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. After duplicating it, uh, I can flip them horizontally, I can flip them vertically also. I'll place them on this. Um, I'll reduce the size and, uh, so that I can make it uniform. I'll duplicate this, I'll reduce its size even more. Duplicate, reduce size. Uh, I'll duplicate this, I'll keep it here. Flip it vertical. Keep it horizontal, increase its size, duplicate it, reduce its size. Yeah, now I can select all these shapes and then I can group them. So, uh, select all, group. Yeah, so now I can right click on them, I can format shape. I'll go to picture or texture fill. I have a cat image which I have added a paint brush so this is so cool and not even for image you can add any texture like this and even you have patterns like this or this yeah so that's how you add a paint brush effect for images or any other textures or patterns in powerpoint so let's see in the next video bye for now